Hello and very late Eid Mubarak to you guys. Ashikuri Apna Shabai Phalo Aachen, Pabitro Mahe Ramjaner Por Abar Vamra Bek Kulam, Aapna Dher Favorite Channel NTV Te, Aami Shumun Aachi Music and Adaniyar Aachke Aama Shate Aachen, The One and Only, She's a Superstar, She's a one of the biggest name in world music today. She wants many awards, ladies and gentlemen. Let's introduce the one and only Shaheen Badar. Uh, thank you, Shuman. That was a lovely introduction. Uh, Shaheen, uh, wel <laughs> welcome to Music and Ad. How are thank you today? Thank you so much. Oh, really good. Uh, busy and uh, obviously Eid is over. How was your so, Eid? What did you do for Alhamdulillah, it was Eid? really, mashallah, really lovely. Spent it uh, with my family and friends. So um, we didn't have a big gathering this year, but Alhamdulillah, it was really did good. Did you go anywhere nice? Did you have a lot it of was nice home. food? No, it was home. So home cooked food with, uh, and my wonderful mother cooked uh, beautiful mitais and stuff. Mm. So it was very delicious. So but traditionally, what do we do before the Eid? We go out shopping, we buy a lot of clothes, we cook a lot of foods, <laughs> we meet a lot of people. I know. Uh, I, I didn't buy a lot of clothes this time. I, mm. I kind of uh, decided to wear um, just one of the things my mom got me was just really nice and simple. So it was really nice and uh, spent a lot of time with family and friends. So um, we d I didn't sort of go out as much in Ramadan this year at all. I just devoted my time to Alhamdulillah with prayers and all of that. So yeah, it was really, mashallah, really well, nice. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really thankful that you are here today with Thank me. Thank you I so mean, much. Usually we have a lot of musicians yes. and uh, basically what we do is we have musician at the back, we have singer here we, and they sing. Yes, and I've talk, seen the show. You know, but today because it's a special edition of Music and Adda, you are coming down. Plus a lot of the guys, they're still on holiday so they want okay. to come back next week. So I thought, okay, let's, let's just have one-to-one -one chat. So I want to find out about yourself. I, I know you've been to many countries around the world. Yes. You did a lot of music and yeah. you've been working with some of the world brands. Uh, before I start, I, I want to know, uh, you started from a small town in England called Colchester, right? Yes, I did. How was the journey? How did a it begin? A simple town girl. Um, it, it was Before you start, yeah. I've been there many times. Have so, you? Yeah, so, so you want to tell me the story first? Uh, I, well, I'll tell, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you later on, but uh, yeah, it's a really, really nice place. I've been mm. there many times yes. and it's a wonderful town. Yeah, um, uh, the memories of Colchester is, is fabulous for me because obviously I spent a few years of my life there. First, when I came to England, uh, one of my dear uncles who passed away, mm. uh, uh, Uncle Lukman, very dear to me um, and his family, they took care of us. So, um, And then we shifted to our own house. My father came. My father was <coughs> uh, working abroad before. So then he came over. Then I, I went to college. In, uh, I went to school. I, I was, in, I was so I studying in a grammar school. In Colchester? Yeah, um, a grammar school, a little bit school. Mm -hmm. So after that, I, um, um, I went into college. I did my psychology at the Colchester Institute, and then I, um, I went into yeah, I studied wow. psychology for a few years. Uh -huh. uh, but the grades, I didn't pass it with great grades, but it was all right. <laughs> so, um, and after that, I, um, uh, I, I got a job. Uh, I was working uh, for the customs, so I was an officer there. And the, then there was a time you also lived in Kuwait. Yes, right? I did. Yes. So yes. W w when was that, and how did that come across? I, I was obviously I was born in England, mm -hmm. uh, but I was brought up in Kuwait, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Kuwait. My father, he was actually he's actually a doctorate, mm -hmm. um, but he um, he he was a financial control of a Kuwait Airlines. So you know, so we just lived in Kuwait. I was going to school in Kuwait. Um, lived there for nearly 12 years. Now you, you lived in Kuwait and now you're in the UK, you've been doing your music from here and also from Kuwait. I have been, yes. What, what, what was it like to do a music, because obviously it's a, a Muslim country and there's yes. certain rules and regulation yeah. and there's boundaries yeah. to that. I mean, how was it difficult for you? Was it easy for you? Or how was it? I was obviously I was a uh, I was a young sort of, uh, it was before my teenage years. Um, um, it, I mean, Kuwait is a uh, cosmopolitan country mm. and, um, you know, it's, uh, I mean, the, the, the culture, um, the livelihood, the people are magnificent. Mm. I have never seen the strictness that obviously you're talking about uh, in uh, Kuwait as such mm -hmm. uh, because we were dealing with um, just people from all sorts, from all over the world, um, you know, so I think 
um, I mean, I, I never saw that, you know. So you're, you're performing there? You did I performed at schools. I was singing hymns. I mm. was singing actually religious songs uh, uh, in Kuwait um, in, at school uh, assemblies, etc. And there were obviously uh, events that were taking place. The sheikhs were invited, etc. So, wow. you know, we, we had our girl groups, etc. wearing the whole Arabic, uh, you know, this dasha, we used to call it. And we used to dance and we used to sing. And um, it was wonderful. And I, I love Kuwait. I love the Arab uh, Do you territory. Miss a lot, I miss Kuwait like anything because all my friends, uh, we had just so much of fun and the, the culture was just magnificent and everyone just lived such a, it was a glamorous life as well. Oh, well, Shaheen, it's nice talking to you, but now Thank I want to talk about your music. Yes. But before I do that, yes. I want to watch one of your videos because I know we've got a lot of videos to yes. show today. Okay. So let's, let's, which one do you want to watch? I think Take It would be really nice. Take It? Yeah, okay, take We'll talk it about Take It after the, uh, okay. the video. Let's, let's watch Take It uh, on your favorite channel and TV.
tell me a little bit about Take It. I mean, how did it start for you? <sighs> oh my God, um, the boys, Noise Control, got in touch with me and um, uh, they wished to collaborate <clears throat> on a production. Um, so then we got together, we worked, um, they sent me the track and I fell in love with it straight away. And uh, they asked me, um, th they are a really sort of a big band in Ireland. Um, so they Ireland. wrote the track themselves? Or? Uh, yes, they produced they produce the okay. track, the whole production, the music. Mm. Um, uh, they're a very big band in Ireland, uh, very well known. Mm -hmm. um, they call Noise Control. Oh yeah, Noise Control is Noise uh, Control, uh, yeah. yeah. So they've been doing awesome. They've been uh, sort of touring around uh, Europe, etc. Um, they've also <coughs> performed with some great uh, bands as well. So um, it's, uh, yes, yeah, so the tape, the, this, the track was sent over to me on an email and I mm. heard it and I fell in love and I said to Declan, uh, one of the heads, I basically said to him uh, and Elle, I said, I, I love it, you know, we, we just want to, I want to work on this, you know, let's work on something and, yeah, and they said, Shine, just write whatever you feel. So then I wrote, then I came up with this and uh, we so just is connected. Has this happened before a smart my beach up? This this happened. No, this is after. This, this is, is after. after. Yeah, this is after. Because we'll prodigy. talk about Smack My Beat yeah, Up. Obviously, it was a, one of the biggest hits dance for tracks. Yeah, yeah, in the world. Uh, yeah. And uh, everyone knows about uh, this. It's, it's a yeah. big, the very, very big song, I think. Um, anyway, before that, um, I want to know it, how did actually this happen for you? Did uh, it? With noise control. Yeah, noise control. Um, like I said, you know, when they, they basically sent me the track, etc., um, mm. you know, um, and I think it was introduced by one of my very dear friends, uh, Victor. Mm. I think uh, he introduced me to them. Um, and uh, then we we basically uh, collaborated and it's been absolutely phenomenal working with the boys. I mean, I absolutely adore them like anything. Um, and it, what's really wonderful is they're just so respectable and so respecting of my wishes <laughs> that um, they, they just, they just when, once they produced it, it was all like, Shaheen, are you sure? Are you happy with it? Are you okay? Yeah, you seem are very you happy. <laughs> You're rocking. Oh, You're going yeah, yeah. the song. It was amazing. And then mm. we went on to perform mm. uh, in uh, in one of the World Cultures Festival. And uh, the crowds were over 200,000. Um, absolutely rocked it, uh, you know, with the boys uh, in Ireland. So, um, so how do yeah. you feel? What kind of feeling do you get when you I see 200 uh, people going crazy? 200,000, yeah. 200,000 I mean, people I mean, going crazy. It, it was it is amazing it's a great buzz your adrenaline just goes haywire <laughs> so and uh, you know uh you, you take over the stage uh, and when you're performing with such a su such an emo enormous kind of a band and the sound is so vibrant uh, it just takes you to another level you just you're in control of everything and you you interact with the people you interact yeah. with your fans you see them live yeah and these, these, and are they the, were these are the people you work for them well exactly yeah. and uh, they, they these fans are so loyal and they appreciate my work and um, they respect me I think that's well, just Shahin, so I'll come back to you again but before that I want to watch one of uh, yeah, another video. Another which video. <laughs> another, which, which one do you like to watch now? Uh, we'll go on to one of the tracks that I did in Bollywood, Layla. By Layla? Yeah, it was released in Times Music. So. Okay, so let's watch Layla from Bollywood Times. That's what she said. So let's hear it.
<laughs> this was another wonderful video. Oh, thank Did you. you. In, it was um, a bit quick. Where was the shoot in India? Or? It was uh, shot in Ahmedabad. Ahmedabad. Yeah, okay. and uh, this uh, Lela, the album was released by Times Music, mm -hmm. and um, it did pretty well. But we will come back to you and talk about this video and everything where you um, shoot. And but right now we have to go for a, a break. So oh, okay. Uh, this is the break time. Great. Tea time. Dear viewers, you are watching Music and Ada, and we'll be back right after the break. Thank you for watching Music and Ada. म्यूजिकल शो म्यूजिक एंड अड्डा सौजन्य जय लुकस वर्ल्ड फेवरेट जुएलर ग्रीन स्ट्रीट एवं विजनेस फोरम